and here we go. The opening sound for ding, the ding, 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 ding. You guess this sound, you win the prize. What is, what is it? It's two items making a noise. Yeah. Well, real What's liberal the media. In a perfect world, you would be making a lot more noise. Ding, ding, ding. It's Flash and Vinny. Uh, greetings, everybody. In a perfect oh. world tonight, hey? Flashing. Ah, see, and it came up right. I figured out what I was doing in the wrong order or something to get the show to change both my box and on the main feed. Ah, see, told you I could do it. Yeah, because tonight, in a perfect world, we have a great topic for everybody, too. Even the people that don't like us, when we're done with this show, those people are going to go, wow, those guys are worse than I thought. <laughs> really? Like <it's> not. <laughs> anyway. Oh, role models. That's, that's a good one you came up with. But... You're welcome. You want to say hi to the bots and bodies tonight on the no. Real Liberty Media? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. I'll do it. Eh. I will do it the other way. I will do it from the bottom to the top. Trying to be bottom to the top. That's right. And we're going to start out instead of Who with a bot. We're going to start out with a babe. Hey, Van Meter, Uno, Tech Man, Silamo, Sock Puppet, Ponsas, Kiss, Kozu, Jays, Nines, Jays, Java Doctor 2. Java Denis, Gromit, Frumpy48, me, Dakota, Cyborg Noodle, Co Cyborg, wait, wait a minute, Colfax101, got lost, Beetle, Anti, underscore, Anti, without an underscore, Phantom, Weather Dork, Vanna White, Trust, number one, Rain, Ponder Gander, Meister Brow, J Dread, I B Don C, Flash and, Flash and Vinny, Chelsea uh -huh. Doni has Mo DC Brackets Miss Kate Moose Girl Grimner and the all encompassing Barman. He knows everything. Barman the great and mighty. He's a role model to millions. So is Grimner. No, he's not. <laughs> Grimner is a poster child for don't let this happen to you. <laughs> in the voting world oh i yeah i took your thing and i ran with it i wrote something here with that it needs a lot more lines okay. vote harder yes it goes vote harder the vote is leaking you wrote that i said <laughs> hope harder the bloke is bleeding i saw goat that <laughs> goat barter the shult is clean <laughs> we <need> more lines <laughs> just just words that sound good ah come on who do you think you are robert plant wait look okay hope uh, larder the bloke is bleeding. Yeah. hope larder the larder's yeah. a pan uh -huh. goat barter the show the show is a, you know a little baby pig the oh. show is yeah do the goat don't yeah you know, leave me alone wow, right you gotta have a sheet of directions to follow this well, you have to have a larger vocabulary. Well, we'll make a role model out of you yet, Vincent. You That's just why I'm hanging flat. there. Everybody be like me. Go flashing. Yeah, I'm going to tell I'm them all. Send all your money. Send it to Vinny. He don't need it, so it can't fuck anything up. What fucks it up is when you send it to people that need it. They never get it. Cut the middleman out right in the beginning and save yourself all the headaches and crying and misery that goes along with being a, a giving person. Ah, you know? Eh, eh, eh. A secret garden. Oh, uh, because you want to be a role model, right? I'm gonna, gonna we're gonna find a way for you to lead these fine people to salvation. Uh, but the Jews <laughs> are gonna the Jews are gonna stop you right about halfway. You'll be halfway to paradise and the Jews are gonna go, nah, I don't think so. Guess what Judge Dredd said over in uh, our other channel that uh, I go to. Oh, I don't I, know. The Flash and Vinny. Some nonsense, I'm sure. WTH. You kind of like Beetle. Oh. Oh, well. We're, we're missing. Your, uh, your role models, do they cuss? I know Hal. That's my biggest role model. He mm. says, uh, 
not really necessary. And you lose the message in it. That depends on the person listening, Vincent. Well, sometimes I cuss, but yeah. I try not to hear. But you're a fan of cuss. Well, there's a mul- there's like layers of reasons for it. One, number one and foremost on the list is it separates the mediocre from the regular. You know? Mediocre but, people that can't handle a word, can, then they can't handle an idea. So you're cutting that shit out. You're saving yourself a lot of time. Well, I look at it like this. When you're a baby, you drink milk, and when you get grown up, you eat meat. Now, some people can't. They might be baby stepping right now, and they just can't swallow it. They go, ham. Yeah. Well, that's real nice and wonderful, but if nobody's beside us has noticed, the fucking world is falling apart. It's run by psychos. They're fucking everything up beyond repair. If they don't get stopped, it's not going to be fixable. So, eh. your uh, your progress is my thorn in the pa. You know what yeah, I mean? Huh? 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 Know what I mean? Why are you Why are you making music on the program tonight? Doing it. They're doing it to me. Uh, oh, you getting uh, things no. from your Twitter? Okay. Yeah. This is a awesome. This is a speaking of. Uh, yeah. Why is it not? My, oh, there it is. Now speaking of my role model, Hal Anthony. Mm-hmm. It just thing been around here. What's going on with it? Yeah, R. L. Andrew author liked my tweets. Um, wow, what is this other stuff? <laughs> Three other likes. Oh. Yeah, but the one I was looking for is oh, so she liked the one you used this form to submit a new story to R. L. M. Now on a ponder gander, she liked that one. And cannabis, this is the one I was looking for right here. Uh-huh. Uh, cannabis banking disjunctive. Uh, CDB stand for legalized lemonade, aborting fetal parts in industrial <laughs> campus coercion. Uh, ponder gander R log, the divine right of aristocracy. BT WRLM three eleven. So guess who that comes from? Guess JJ Kale. No, behind which no. huh? said guess. I guessed. Okay, here's the keyword I'll get you. <laughs> R-log. Hashtag R-log. I come from wife. Hey, mister, this comes from your wife. That's another role model right there. Oh, my wife. What Divine makes... Divine right of Cochristocracy, B-T-W-R-L-M-3-11. Yeah, but where do you get the idea I, I listen to my wife? Have you lost your uh, mind? Wow. I got answer. Okay. Uh, Anyway, so Vinny's going to answer a phone call and leave me here to entertain you for the next few minutes till he returns from his trip into, yes, the Twilight Zone. And tonight we're going to be bantering back and forth about role models. And he was going to start out and use um, Hal Anthony as an example because... The difference between me and Hal is Hal has doesn't have a potty mouth. But then again, Hal is doing something different on the radio than I'm doing. I'm not trying to fix anything or help anybody or nothing. That's on you. If you're in shit, that's where you want to be because there's a choice. A lot of okay. people don't understand that situation. Okay, Vinny's back to pick up on the Hal Anthony role model program tonight. This is a demigoddess guide uh, to uh, Galat. What is it? Let me read this. This is R.L. Andrews. She's Slow a, down uh, a little bit. Maybe I can understand you if you speak English. Okay. <laughs> R.L. Andrew is a chronically ill Australian author of A Lunatic's Guide to Interplanetary Relationships. Her book's on Amazon.com. Uh, she's from uh, Shepparton, Australia, mate. That's down under. Hello, Mari B. She's down under. Oh, yeah. Hey, Miss B's down there still. So I had a couple of new followers on Twitter that uh, and I followed back, and then I found a couple of more. And So uh, I, I've been uh, associating more with uh, authors to... Um, you know, for example, uh, 
talking about role models and uh, one of my biggest role models is uh, uh, is for creative writing and um, uh, well and the the uh, app I use right here the pro writing aid there's some gro real great folks and you can find them on the Twitter too I got lots of resources you know I, I hate writing I'm not a writer and I really don't want to do it but <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me at all Vince we have we have things in, uh, to do in life we have obligations and sometimes they're not pleasant and sometimes we don't like them and in order to uh, actually have a role model and follow after after him it, you know it, it really requires application in certain things well if you don't like what you're doing isn't that right there a reason not to do it no. Oh, you must be a voter then. Okay. I, I thought you were an individual kind of thinking guy and all that kind of shit, eh? No, it turns out you follow the crowd. Oh, I get it now, man. No, you're not listening. I'm not. The crowd. <laughs> the crowd. <laughs> the role sometimes, model. The man sometimes I'm downstream. But. Yeah, but he's setting the pace for you there, Vincent. You're following after him. How Anthony is a pathfinder. Yeah, Hal's good at what he does. I give him a lot of credit. See, he had to say again this last week, he's not taking you to whoop you behind the woodshed. He's no, giving no. examples. Yeah. So you can take the occupiers behind the woodshed. And give them back pull. what they so lovingly give you. And it's easy. You do it through administration. I saw. Not easy. Yeah, yes, it is. I saw links on this when I was very brand new to the curiosities of the internet and I was in I was in Scotland so uh, I was reading things about Scottish uh, law so the big deal in Scotland and England and all that is council tax and there were link and there must have been I can't even count how many there were but there were plenty of links on how to respond to to the state to get them to get off your back and not respond back to you, which makes the last letter that you sent them, that's the power. If they don't well, respond, then they're giving you whatever it is that you're asking that. for. By, default judge. Yeah, but yeah. That, I want to tell you that ain't always going to be the case. Uh, the main thing is stay out of their past, stay out of the jurisdiction. Well, if you're That's in the, the damn thing, it's nice to know what the fuck is really going on no, instead of this bullshit they put in papers. Let me oh, tell yeah, you. No, sorry. Let me tell you, though, really, a, a lot of people are out there giving all this advice. Uh, let me example now. Uh, Rob Work shared uh, Judge Darby's uh, letter that uh, the, that he presented and, and spoke on the phone with the Provo Marshal in uh, Oregon. Uh, given let him know that there was uh, foreign agents there, foreign mercenaries uh, in the employ of private company doing the dirty deeds. And I think that was proven later on. But anyways, the title is judge starts to call. It calls Darby a judge. Now he's just one of these. Uh, uh, I think they've called themselves U S continental marshals. It's the same thing that uh, Bruce Doucette was involved in up in, in uh, Colorado. Uh, it, it's got him and some others the rest of their life in prison. And that is, you know, this, uh, these letters and uh, filing uh, in their court system and, you know, trying to bring them to account under their own system. But now, the main thing you want to do is, is, like I said, is avoid getting in their path. But uh, if you go about this wrongly, uh, you're putting your life in danger. I did last week, Jeff Winehouse, you know, up there in Missouri, uh, rest some maybe 25 more years in prison and, and uh, nearly killed us. I wonder he wasn't killed. I, you know, I set him up. It's set up for the takedown. You got to be smart enough to not put yourself in that position And words. As I say, guard your words, words, put so many people in a bad spot that uh, they, they are brought into jurisdiction. And when you start putting the words down on paper and sending them to people and putting your name on it. Uh, and then some people took to sign it with a red thumbprint. Uh, and on and on different these different ideas and notions are very dangerous 
So it okay, well, let me let me interrupt start. you and say this because right now we're we're talking two different things at the same time that are similar and they look alike, but they're different. It's like a tortoise, a, a, a turtle, and a tortoise. Similar that that kind of concept because your bit of dirt and the bit of dirt I'm on, although the rules are similar, the enforcement is way different. And I am speaking about Scotland, too, when I was there. It might have changed since. They were getting kind of tight with law when I Did left. Did you take the high road or the low road get to get there in Scotland? I took uh, the airplane across the water. I rode them. I suppose. I wasn't high, though. You know, I was just in the plane. The low road would have been by boat or submarine. Or I could have drove or something. Took a bus, yeah. took a train. Not ferry. finished the there you know, I a, hauled the first parts for the that bridge to Hawaii. I was one of the very first carriers. And so that's an amazing feat there to build that bridge all the way well, from the I don't know what Lord. that's got to do with Hal Anthony being a role model, but okay, build a bridge. Fly across <laughs> oceans, do stuff. Enjoy yourself. Building bridges. So Hal's talked about that too, building bridges. He's false confidence. Okay, these, uh, and what I was trying to say that you kind of made – bigger than it was because you're on a different scale with your Bundy experience. The average homeowner, I'm not talking about multi-millionaires and people with lots of property. I'm talking about just regular folk. Like they, they don't know the legalities of uh, council tax in the UK. And there's ways to not pay the council tax. You just got to know the way to do it. And that's not putting your life in any fucking danger of any kind. It's just responding to something they send you and wait for them to not respond back. It's different. It, it's not the problem. guns. It's not the guns and the land grab that you have where you're at. It's different. There's less land to grab. They got to be more clever about it. Just charge people rent. Yeah, they got any laws there in Scotland about maybe you can't plant some certain type of bush in your front yard. I have no clue about that, but the neighborhood is so varied. I've taken pictures of different houses on the same road I live on. And from one house to the next, it almost looks like you're in a different neighborhood. There's a little bit of everything, even apartment buildings on the way. Here or there? Here, I mean, where I'm at. The city, uh, little city I live in. What's the population? Uh, I think the cumulative around here is about 12,000 for all the yeah. incorporated land there is. There's a lot of farms and fishing here. Is it all broke up like you go through the fields and you come to a little neighbor, another little road and some houses down it, it or something? It has a little bit of that, a little bit of everything. It's got little tiny towns that are so crowded that you get lost driving through them because the streets don't meet. You don't, If you don't know where you're at, you're, you're going to have to find out. It's, it's and then you, say, you ask how to get them, I say you can't get that from here <laughs> <laughs> similar but in Danish yeah <laughs> and you know all I was saying about that it's coughing um, here <clears throat> swaller it's better swaller <laughs> <laughs> anyway it's Indeed. about the beginning of all this nightmare, all this illegal crap that you deal with through your signature is all done through administration. I'm not talking about when the police come and start putting paws on you and all. That's gone way beyond administration by that point. That's what I mean is we don't know the proper ways. The proper way to me was to, hey, the cops will pull you over and da 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 Not... You can do things through the mail <laughs> and go around certain problems if you know what they are, but we're not taught what they are. That's why well, how so important. Like Bruce Du said, he identified the problem. And the FBI agent, uh, Ryan English, he was uh, he was also like just some kind of special witness that got to sit in the courtroom up there with the prosecutor and the marshal and uh, the other gal that was the assistant prosecutor. And uh, before Bruce got up to, you know, do his testimony and 
uh, questions. Uh, it was uh, preempted by Ryan English. He got up and says, oh, now uh, they say that this uh, government is uh, 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 the FBI. Hey, good shot. 420. Salute. Yeah, this uh, this Yahoo, he says, uh, they're not corporations. Uh, the government's not corporate, but it is. And you know what? I wish I'd have saved that somewhere. I think I might be able to find it. Might have posted it at Real Liberty Media. Um, oh, hey, it, let, it, let, me, let me take a, take a minute. I want to say something to Java. Java Doctor. Java Denny. Oh. Well, because I was reading this stuff while you were talking, and uh, I wrote down, whoa, did I lose you? I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, I wrote down, uh, Java knows what's going on. And he, he gave me a giggle and a huh. But when it comes down to the system and what the system is and what it does, and you know what's going on. You're not living in voter land. Did I lose you, Vinny? Nope. Okay. I wasn't sure whether I heard some blah, blah, blah in the background. But I just wanted to give Java a hey out there, you know, because uh, sometimes you write something and, and it's half in your head and half on the screen. <laughs> you don't write the whole thing out. And just assume the other person that you're right to is going to get what you mean. And sometimes they don't. So I wanted to take a moment to clear it up so he didn't go all, you know, have a breakdown and cry. Because I was mean to him on the RealLibertyMedia.com chat. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He's, just call him Cripple. Oh, uh, man. I, I read this morning about what his therapist did. And that was just cruel. And, yeah, people need to know when they go to the doctors of any kind, any kind of therapy, anything, you can say no. You can stop these people at the minute you walk in the door and say, I don't know. I ain't doing that. That's your right. I am sure they try to con you into believing you can't do that, but it's still your ass, and they're seeing you. And there's rules for them to follow, but they assume we don't know that there's rules for them to follow. They just do whatever they please. And we go, okay. Oh, two minutes late. Oh. Ah, but, no, doesn't it feel good to have the smoking privilege in your life from the government so the government doesn't arrest you for smoking the marijuana cigarette? I mean, what, what kind of fucking life do we live? It is so stupid. When you step back in my, you know, the way I see life and you step back and you look upon it, it's the biggest cluster fuck of cluster fucks. Nothing works well. If it works at all, it works badly. Everything's a shortage. Oh, we need to have this. Oh, we need to have that. One lie after the other. And, and here we are. We're stuck in this freaking word game with lawyers. Okay. Oh, yeah. The bar association. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. That's what Al was talking about this last week. What I was talking about there going on in, in Denver in the trial of Bruce Doucette. Uh, you know, him going to point all this out in the FBI say, oh, it's just, you know, a way of doing business. A corporation incorporated just means that we've come together and make it to, uh, do it like this. But there are, in fact, uh, separate corporate entities that uh, incorporate up into making up our government. And the people that are uh, positioned in powers and seats of decision, they, uh, they're they're against us. It's they're they're the occupiers, and and that's what we're up against. And to go in there and think that you can identify in the courtroom that they're uh, they're bastages, then they won't allow you to even to do that. Uh, you should have seen the the these people. They're they're so evil. The the prosecutor Robert Shapiro threatening me spinning around and stomping his feet and staring me down in front of the jury like uh, I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, the judge, you know, looks so – what a nice, tender old man up here, kind and good-hearted. And then finally there come a point. <clears throat> he tore the mask right off his face, and you've seen the evil. It's like a like one of these things you see in, uh, in, in a movie, you know, that yep. <sighs> trans. I, I seen the evil man come out. <laughs> Calm yeah. down. I know. Yeah. Calm down. Breathe, Vince. Vince. I'm breathing. It's good. me. I'm, I'm not is. the enemy here. <laughs> I'm not. 
Yeah, I'm telling you. I what hear it the, is. I hear the tension in your freaking voice. Come on. Anyway, because this is what you know. I dealt with this. Is what we're up against. Right. What? Well, don't you know, top don't birds be on. You did that for everybody. Don't be a victim now. You've been doing really good so far. Oh, I'm not a victim. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. That's what I want to clear up because you were ten. You were getting tense and they, right. Yeah. yeah. They try to you. You know what they? You know what that you got a temper. Poor Kim to Bruce's yeah. wife. Yeah. Threat and yeah. intimidate. I know. That hurts shaking like a yeah. a dog crapping tax. Yeah. Pitiful. See, what the evil these people do, Flash. I, I, it I, is. I know. Evil. That's what I mean. Is is the difference between where I'm at and where I'm from is. You're in barbed wire, and I got rope, so I got I at least the illusion of I can, I can move around a little. I'm not constantly being pricked to remind me where my place is. Well, you're a you're a guest in a foreign country, so yeah. you have yeah. you have less uh, security and rights than um, yeah, than you might hope. There, there's, there's no need if if I don't engage in commerce. There's no need to worry about any of that stuff. It's all invisible to me. It's yeah. all about money. It's all it's ever been about. See, you, they throw words around like freedom and rights. and This is for you if you do that. Well, no, that's how you treat your damn dog. You know, The dog does what I want her to do and I give her a treat like a dog. That's what you do with dogs. And I, I, I see, yeah. well, what, let me, my okay. thing is, is, this is how I see other people treating other people. And they do it through business and they do it through finance, through uh, how much they have compared to the next guy. And the best thing for me to, <laughs> I have so much fun. I just wear Levi's and t-shirts and uh Nothing fancy. I'm not a fancy man. So the people that encounter me in public would probably assume I'm just barely scraping through by on life. They wouldn't think nothing of it. And that's the way I like it. <laughs> and you buy as expensive in Europe? Uh, everything's expensive, and I'm in the Scandinavia. But, uh, you yeah, know, I'm there's... No. See, because the illusion of this EU is huge, right? It It is a trade union. It does exist. But it, some of the countries, states, or whatever these fucking things are, they didn't sign up to join the currency and give Brussels all the power. They kept a lot of shit back here in Denmark. That's why they're so rude to the foreigners. If You, you know what I mean? Yep. If I wanted something from Denmark, Denmark would tell me to go kiss Jewish ass in America and leave them the fuck alone. I, I'm not one of their people. But see, Sirk is, and Sirk loves the country, so I stay here with her. I'd be home in, you know, I'd have been home by now or somewhere else if it wasn't for Sirk. Well, I used to want to travel the world, but I don't reckon I will. Well, you don't know. See, that, see, we're all living under this illusion of government. And all government is what you're told. You don't have any proof that any of this is even real. The only proof there is is the next guy believes it and agrees with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Grimner, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, man, I'm so simple it, it makes people... Uh, they if if I'm uh, like having a meal in a restaurant in the states, I would worry the people that were running the place or sometimes a bit. I didn't look like I could pay for my food because of my clothing. <laughs> but some days, you know, I had work, I had things to do, and if there was paint on my shirt or whatever, I didn't give a fuck. I was gonna go eat. It was clean. It just had paint on it. So, but. It's funny how people treat you in public uh, based on your appearance and what they see at the moment, not what they know about you. They don't even know you. They already think they know you. <laughs> so to this day, I, I still, like with the hair thing, I play with it. I don't cut it. And it it brings a certain kind of person to the 
forefront for me to engage. And other people that don't care for that stay the hell away. <laughs> so it serves a purpose without having to speak the language. Uh-oh. I heard something go. Oh, uh, Vinny was muting there. We both got quiet at the same time. What the hell's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're supposed to be interrupting me when I'm not interrupting you. I was trying. <laughs> You're but smoking. I'm... Anyway. Look, I, I don't have a problem with the concept of role model. What I have a problem with is anything that's popular sucks ass. And I don't want nothing to do with it because everybody else seems to think it's great. And their taste bites. How can you trust this public with the fucking something that you might like? No, 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 no. Yes. They're all insane. Look at them. Look at the shit they're doing. Look at the people they support. Like their role models. Al fucking Gore for crying out loud. That's the best these monkeys can fucking do. Climate change because of Al fucking Gore. And who the fuck was Al Gore anyway? It was nothing. In the overall scheme of life, I'm going to tell you this. You might not believe it. On your dying day, you're not going to say, fuck you, Al Gore. <laughs> you won't even think of Al Gore that day. Hey, there's uh, Tom Lacavar Stewart. He just uh, tweeted again his uh, thing upon the... Uh, yeah, I know. I keep hearing your ba-da-ding, ding thing. What is, that, what is that thing, that link you talked about me? One of them laws called? Oh, here. Let me just post it. Uh, yeah. It was... Hey, that was, was that I wild? Did. I'll put it up on the RLM. But was uh, that... <laughs> this is huge, Please. people. You guys... It, what This... Because if you listen to it, it sounds like it's about religion. And it is. But it's about the politics that the religious control and the truth about it. And what, what's coming is not pretty. It's got needs to be freaking oh, wow. stopped soon. And I didn't know that. Yeah, no, this has wow. been going on since Bush. Bush. Or not Bush. Reagan. Before that. That there's proof, there's film of the freaking president in a Oval Office with a bunch of these freaking dreadlock fucking Jew, whatever they are. And according to the links that I've seen and the input I've, I've listened to from other people, the Jews claiming power today aren't even really Jews. They're just using the name. They're blaming these other fuckers for the shit they're doing. It's brilliant. This is so well thought out. And they're above the law. They are so full. They It would be like living in a world of Hansels if the Jews get their way with these laws. And the government keeps giving them okay. <laughs> what, what are you going to do? <clears throat> you mean Zionist. Well, see, that's what I mean. You call it what you fucking want. And they're they're... Their trump card is that fucking Jew crap. You, oh, you're anti-Semitic. Uh, yeah, well, hey, look at what you're doing. No, no, no. Don't look at what we're doing. You're anti-Semitic. Stop. And this works with government? Are you? Oh, if you had two kids fighting in the yard, you'd put up a bigger struggle to tear them apart than that. Let me tell you a story. I went to town today. Now, uh, I've talked about these folks before. Borrow French. And uh, they got the national chuck wagon races every year. So I was talking to Peggy today and uh, they had some problems that uh, they built the pond and it was too big. Now, uh, Joe up, uh, up in the, where's he at? Montana, Idaho. I'm sorry, Joe. He just died anyways. Yeah. He had a big problem with the government for building the pond. Anyways, uh, we talked about that some, and then, you know, she was asking me all about, all my trip there and all these, you know, the places I went and she knew about the Bundy's of course. And, uh, you know, I, I was talking to her basically about some of the same things I was talking to you earlier there <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me. And then come to this here and, and, and talked about Israel and these so-called Jews to fake Jews and how Christians assume that, uh, they're God's chosen people. And that's, what's been taught from the pulpit and, and on and on about this. And were there in fact, uh, these people are, are uh, you know, of, of a different bloodline and uh, how they're uh, 
elitist and think that they're the top Jew over all the other Jews, and they were involved in the <laughs> genocide in Germany and and so forth. So, uh, and I and she received it well. I, I was able to put it. Look, I don't want to be talking like you sound like I'm this crazy anti-Semitic, you know. But you know, these are some of the facts, and you know, some of the things she says. You know, you really spend a, must spend a lot of time in studying all of this and history. Um, but uh, she did take it well. That. A lot of people don't take this sort of talk well. Oh, I can imagine. Especially if they're a Christian, you know, because that's what their preachers are telling them most times. Okay, well, it, compare God's it to chosen. this, Vince. Compare it to how I take um, Hansel's um, love for Trump. It's the same damn thing. Just some invisible guy with a name, blah, blah, blah. You don't even know if he's alive. For all you know, he's he's not. Could be anybody. They just tell you this stuff, show you some pictures, run some video on the Internet. And the next thing you know, everybody knows this guy inside out. <laughs> what? So I, I, I just find it an illusion in the long run because, well, for one, I'm so fucking far away. I'll never see the, I mean, with, if life goes away, it's, it's going now. I won't return. And by the time I did return, I'd be like a million years old. It, the wife just came in. If you can't hear that, oh, say hello, hi, Cirque. Hello, Circle Line. Hello, Circle Line. And there, everybody's helloed. Do me a favor. I did it again. Oops. Uh, would you take that last one I just put up there? And I put a quote in there that's similar to that. Would you replace it with this one because I typoed the other one from Jordan Page? And it says, <laughs> uh, and I. Put a line out here in between, but they say I can't change all the things I find strange. What can one man do alone? I'm only a stranger looking to find better than man. They keep telling me it's a sin to be free. That's more than I'm willing to stand. Yeah, well, it's it's just a word, Vince. It's not. It I don't even think talking about here. Well. I was going to go off on the word free, but if you want to keep going, I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> I'm just high. How, how? Well, talk about free. What is free? So I was getting to it. The last couple of solo shows I did, uh, I went off on rant about, you know, my freedom's better than your freedom because my freedom's got this stamp of approval right here on the certificate. <laughs> And when you think about how, how in the fuck is that a gauge of the word freedom? I belong to this group and I'm better than you. Uh, no. Whatever happens to being an individual? <laughs> it's free. I, it's not popular, but hey. I, I went like into a house up there in North Carolina on my trip uh, back in 2017 when I was in Tennessee. And we went into the courthouse there, and I had to go through these metal detectors and a, a search and cops. And uh, he opened, opened up my wallet, and I'm thinking, what? I didn't have a joint up in that wallet. Wow, folded that, up in wow. Sometimes do. Well, <clears throat> I didn't know they could do that. I must be old. Okay. Ponder Gander added it, Grimner. Ponder Gander. <laughs> uh, boy, he likes you. I'll tell you, Mr. Vincent. Because he helps you out a lot with a lot of your stuff. But see, years from now, later on in life, when you know whatever comes of this bunny thing, 10, 20 years from now comes of it, you're going to be one of the people from the beginning of it. So, yeah, I think that's pretty impressive. You know? Let me read you. I like to scroll down here just look at it. Well, <coughs> this I, is the uh, uh, Melina Grace. Uh, McInnes. She, uh, she had the McInnes on there. Uh, Neil Wampler, he uh, <clears throat> he was one of the fellows up in uh, in Oregon, the standoffs, they called it, and uh, he come down to Vegas for the trials. Um, he said uh, on this post um, that's on my timeline, it says, well, sometimes it's we the people, but for me, these last years have been... Uh, he says they have reformed his life, and it's the wonderful family of patriots that have made him new. 
Strange that it is in his uh, so-called sunset years, he's finally come to value the regard of others. But for this special fellowship we have, I cherish only second to blood kin. That's a, that's a man right there, a role model, Neil Wampler. What yeah, a pleasure to know. What a pleasure. I said to him, I said, uh, I said, this is the proudest times of my life, and I'm in the company of giants. You know, I say that I, I like a peanut in a row of Snickers bars. Well, that's what you think. Okay. That's on you. And I also said, uh, or he said then to me, he says, uh, these have been the proudest for him as well. He said, but the giants? Question. Yeah, he said, well, I don't know. Years have never run into a family like the Bundys. And I said, uh, I said to Neil, the list is long, the names held on high. Uh, they say I can't change. Oh, and then I quote Jordan Page. They say, I can't change all the things I find strange. What can one man do alone? I'm only a stranger looking to find better nature in man. They keep telling me to sin to be free. And that's more than I'm willing to stand. Sometimes you got to do things you don't want to do. Sometimes it means sacrifice. Well, see, to to find that, to do things, because some people are so weak they might consider doing gardening. That's something I have to do. And that's not where I go when you talk about having to do things you don't want to do. I don't think of small things like uh, cleaning up a mess yeah, going to the, hike into town to go get your food supply. <laughs> Little things like that, that that make me giggle and make the next guy shake his head and say, why don't you just get a car? Yeah. People say that. Well, not here, but in the past when I've lived in cities. And two o'clock in the morning, I'm, I'm figuring it's closing time. I'm going to walk home. And somebody in the bar will say, hey, you want to ride? And I'm, I'm holding, and they're driving drunk. So, yeah, I want to get in that car. <laughs> oh. So what? I just found polite ways to be practical in a world full of bozos and just gun-happy morons. Let's see if it's the same. What? Maybe I can buy it. They say, okay. Can you read it? Can I read it? Did I read it yet? <laughs> Fanny's editing his memoirs live on the In a Perfect World podcast where we're not discussing much about role models. And who would you su suggest to somebody today? And refer oh, that, yeah, that's, a, that's what I did. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I screwed up, uh, Grimmer. Is, <laughs> I misspelled Jordan. Calm by down, putting, Vincent. Putting hey, yeah. I was on a deep rant. I know, deep but thought. I was in the middle getting of that. Way in there. Uh, I was getting that thought way up and deep in there all the way to the... Oh, wait a minute. That's not I, thinking. That's something else. Because <laughs> I want to work for the government and get paid to tell you morons of your fucking up my day making me work <laughs> what a world we, we live in a world full of just nonsense Non nonsense right so they they make these businesses playgrounds you know for the uh the mental people that like to play with computers and design and do the administration. Some people really have a knack and a taste and an interest in that world. And some people are like me and could give two fucks if it was there or not. Think we'd be fine without it. But, see, the, the proof is in the pudding and what we've got is a lifetime. I'm not going to even give this shit years. We'll just say lifetime of religious fanatics and government wackadoodles and freaking kings and popes and nobody seems to learn that these big groups of organized people never work they always fail and they breed nothing but 
sick, perverted weirdos, <laughs> I guess is what to call them. You know, and, they, and it's sad because they're leaders of uh, society. And when you I, take a closer look at them, well, hold on. I was going like getting to the point of Creepy Joe. He's going to run for the <laughs> job of POTUS <laughs> in 2020. But this yeah. creepy, freaking pedophile, greasy banker, oh, lawyer, slut wants to tell you what to do for four or eight years. You really taking a look at what this guy is <laughs> he's nasty you know no, I've seen it's like one of your sandwiches all <laughs> sloppy and dripping and shit all over the fucking place no that that is a disaster looking for a place to happen that joe biden guy Whew. wow you guys think trump's a dumbass wait till you see what pence does to you Pence is one of the Jesuits, and the Jews are taking over. I was up at a place in Spokane on my trip that was built yeah. by Jesuit. Mount St. Michael. Mount it's St. a traditional Catholic church. It has uh, nuns. It's mostly nuns, and it has a priest, and there's two or three brothers there. I think two brothers, one that was kind of in and out. You ever uh, have a nun whip really you with a belt? Huh? I, they didn't do that stuff. No? Uh, Oh. This one nun, I love her. They, uh, they, oh, those kind of nuns. Okay, uh, sounds good I, so far. I asked her. Uh, I asked her. I says, "Do you uh, use rulers on the children?" She, <laughs> I said, "You're an anarchist." <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> You're an anarchist. An anarchist wouldn't use a ruler. There, an no anarchist ruler. wouldn't use a ruler. No, no. See, that's the. You've seen on Larkin Rose shirt, oh. no ruler. The rulers with the, the red circle and the line through it, the diagonal oh, line. Oh, hold on. It's not just any one solo. Oh, well, it's all of them. It's politics. I got I've decided it. Politics at every fucking level of government. Fuck them all. Bunch of opportunists, lazy cunts that want an easy way out. Fuck them. You know, I, f I found a way to solve the economy problem overnight. Completely. Everybody. Everybody gets paid exactly the same for the exact same amount of time they spend working. Don't matter what you do. But that cleans up all that greed and nefarious shit going on. Oh, and you got to get rid of this Federal Reserve bullshit. That's it's killing you. $21 trillion in debt. Come on. People got to know you can't pay the interest on that, let alone pay the debt. This is over. It's finished. So what's the next scheme that the Rothschilds got in store for us so that we'll continue to play this fucking game we play? Well, I guess I hit you on a bad night with a question that was so deep. I will try something simpler. Try it simpler. Okay, well... We just keep going along with this game that we play. And if the game falls, and it did, it fell the last time in 2008, and it's fallen a lot of times before that. They got the public's attention. They call them depressions and all this other. This is all planning from the bank. They do this to us like we're a laboratory experiment, and they're seeing what we'll do if they do this. And then we'll... Pit two of them against each other over here, like this Venezuela oil bullshit. You know what that's all about, right? It's about the rule. Well, how many refineries do you think the United States has? There's a lot of refineries. In no, Pope they're oil. not. Functioning gasoline refineries in a lot. No, 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 they've, no. Got, uh, they've got one across, uh, where's that up in, by Gallup. There's a refinery. They got a lot in Houston and along the, the Gulf. They got them over Long Beach. Uh, uh, those are the ones I know about. So I say mm -hmm. a lot. They're, yeah, you would they say, pump, okay. They got pipelines. They pump a lot of this stuff to the refineries. Ah, see, now. Well, all stuff goes. Okay. Well, I did a little complaining about this over the Go last ahead. couple of weeks, right? All this crap down in Venezuela is about the oil. That it is. 
But what they're not printing, telling you what's about is the Koch brothers that want that particular oil. And their plan is to put a pipeline in. That's so they got Trump in there doing their bidding to get them a pipeline so that they can do away with this political shit and just get their fucking cheap grade oil at a bottom of the rock price. Well, sure. It's all part of their schemes and schemes. Yeah, but that's all there is to this. So all this United Nations and all this bullshit we're getting about. You get these links and the United Nations and does this and America does that. And all this shit is really to do is just to get you pissed off so you'll pick a side. <laughs> Be on the winning side of the next conflict. And America has been directly involved in 67 replacements of people sitting in power financially and just come right out. Hey, we're, we're moving you. You're out. See ya. And this is, this is the government that people in a, that home back in the States where I lived for many years swear up and down to this day, well, I'll just protect myself with my gun. Well, my question is, what are you going to use to protect yourself from the government? Well, keep fighting. That's what I can say. You see that picture I posted right there? Look at that. I didn't those. open up anything, but I see a thing, but I ain't open it right now. I'm on I'm on deep rant tonight. No, no, no. My brain's a cooking, Vincent. <laughs> open it. Don't Look cloud me with your childish photographs. It doesn't even you, show up there. You got to click it. You click oil it. burning monkey. What are you? <laughs> from uh, the Mona Taco. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Josh was in court. Yeah, uh, I recognize uh, these two. Yeah, look at you. Yes. Uh, so I've got a message from him. <clears throat> Let's see here. Several auditors made it to Vegas in support of Josh. This is what happened. Uh, on the sidewalk to a couple of them. It's a bit harder than others. James Freeman and uh, you know, two others get chased and assaulted by Marshall. So this has just happened. I'm going to have to hit uh, stop. Whoa. Uh -oh. Stop. Um, yeah. Uh, You're going to drive me to drugs? Let me see if it's. Oh, this is part two. Let me see. I'm telling you, Vinny, I need a Volume. Help, help. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting all, all right. worked up over here. Already 145 comments, uh, 254 likes, and two, 29 ones uh, down. Okay. Uh, so, Is yeah, that good? EIA, EIO2 get chased and assaulted by a federal marshal. Oh. And the poor dirt farmer. This is a, these are members of uh, Community Watch, Cop Watch, uh, auditors that are, uh, and, and uh, some of them. I'll get a little sassy, so I wonder if that's any help. Now, I watched uh, uh, from New Mexico Community Watch. I think it was. Uh, uh, he, he had a good word with the cop up there. was able to speak civilly. It, it went back for a later interview, about an hour-long uh, interview with the town marshal there in New Mexico. I uh, forget the name of the town. I have to go look. But, uh so these guys, these are what they're doing. They're staying with Josh. Of course, I know, I know Josh from, and I uh, went to court with him a couple of times and, and did some uh, video of him. Um, so here's, I didn't, I didn't come across Poor Dirt Farmer, so I'm glad for that. March 19th. What? March 19th. This is an old one. Uh, so this isn't up to date as I thought it was. This is another one. All right. Well, anyways, Josh was in court yesterday. Uh, 8 a.m. and I haven't gone to find out what happened to him. But anyways, nonetheless, a good video to watch. 17 minutes long. And I'm going to copy it. Hey, speaking of videos to watch, how much of that, the seven Noahide laws, did you get a uh, chance to look at? I watched it all. Wow. Well, what's your take on that, Mr. Uh, because you would be a Christian in this set, right? Oh, I put it in. Sorry, I put it in. No, I, no. I don't. Okay. The wrong way. Well, then. Okay. But well, all right. Here, the, way I interpret, the way I interpret the information from the link about these people claiming to be Jews, whatever the fuck this is, 
they're telling us that everything we're doing is against them. And they're putting it into the law that they yeah. can't be uh, criticized or questioned. And this you is huge. Where we get lost at, though, is to, to try to assign a name to them. Because uh, in that video, the one, one was talking about Illuminati and that, you know, oh, well, we really don't go by that. We don't all do devil worship and la di da. And, you know, this, she's some nut woman, anyway. So right. But that's so, not the point. Uh, only based to, to reference her is the echoing that uh, that she does that we hear other people of high inf affluence uh, say as well. So you, you could recognize the common words. But the. Yeah. Uh, to it, the identifier that you, that we find is uh, the positions these people have, that, these occupiers, where they take up their positions of power and, and, and refer it back into the courts and to these agencies, the FBI and uh, CIA. And then we just saw uh, a link here, uh, don't have it open, of the uh, collusion. Uh, is this it? <clears throat> Eight historic cases. Show the FBI and CIA were out of control long before Russia Gate. This is from yeah. Blacklist News. Yeah. Uh, I'll bring that over just for people to take a look at. Yeah, this is this is nothing new, but something that you know I myself was able to uh, witness and identify firsthand. Well, you know the uh, the law enforcement over periods of time have been molded into what we have now. You know. This is apparently what works. If you want to control people, this is how you do it. Have very intimidating people in dark armor-looking shit with helmets and visors and bats and guns and all that kind of fun stuff and send them to party. Good for you. You'll like it. You'll no, 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 no. I, I live many miles from that city not crap. Nah, won't ever hit here. I, I could easily order up a drunk. I said easily. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, you said easy. Okay, Bullwinkle. Anyway, you don't even need to mention that on the Real Liberty Media. The only one that doesn't support the state, I don't even think he's around. Eh, his name's there. <laughs> he might be listening to your great wisdom tonight, Vincent. You should be proud. I would. If I had a court jester of my very own, oh, man, I'd be like the king. <laughs> we got to call you the king now. You got a, your own court jester. I get it. Very clever, Vince. Very well, can't. clever. Well, you've learned how to do all this crazy shit for the best. The FBI, the CIA. <laughs> Having experience with watched yes. a lot of licks. Ah, eh, you planted Hansel, and he's your partner, man. He's your number one fan. Whew, I'm so jealous. I wish I was you. <laughs> Would you like to be a spook? Nah, I was just giving you a giggle about your buddy hands. Now, would you like to finish what you started? Because we were way back in the beginning. Which I brought one? I brought up role models, and it, and it yeah. took you no, right to right to left hell, Anthony. Yeah, but we get sidetracked and 50,000 things come up. But I was really interested in, let's, I'm going gonna, gonna to give you the mic. Give me a second. I just want to set this up so I can let you know what I want you to do and see if you can't work with that, you know. But go into something about how, about being a, a why he's a role model to you. I mean, just saying it doesn't really explain it. All right. Well, I will go there. Absolutely. Hal is uh, the the most soundest voice of reason there is. Had uh, had other people heeded as I had uh, his his warning, uh, his call to watch your step along this path, because if you walk in front of this beast, he's going to bowl you over and eat you. Maybe carry you off in cage you or kill you on the spot. That's the nature of the beast. Now, Hal, like I said, uh, I, I've got to credit him because the person that uh, and how I acted in my encounters with the uh, police, uh, and I've had a, a few, and, you know, purposely, well, 
Yeah, one was the, the one where I said not show an ID to state trooper on my YouTube channel. Uh, that one was their uh, engagement with me. And I thought, well, by, by the time I got my camera ready there and plugged it in with a battery in it, <laughs> it's like he's already around the other side of the truck. I didn't get the whole video, but I did film him searching in there. Now, uh, I was non-threatening and non-smart aleck to him and, um, you know, one guy over at UCY used to do radio over there. He says, uh, he said, you, uh, you lucky you didn't get shot. Well, uh, luckily where I live at, you know, it's a lot more, um, lax and, you know, they don't have to deal with near as many, uh, dangerous people armed and dangerous. Okay. Flash went somewhere. Okay. Now, so about how, how's guidance as far as how you want to position yourself. You don't want to put yourself in there. And first of all, you're not going to really ever educate a cop on the spot. So people try to do that. The do you know, and this and that. So I just had questions and do it respectfully. Um, I did a, a video and I entitled it how to ambush and shoot a cop. And I sent it to my sheriff. we got a new sheriff now that happens to, uh, be a friend down the road, I know. So, you know, that's the that's the, the county, that's the environment in the country where I live. This is my environment. Nonetheless, in the city, I carry over at the same attitude. When uh, the, the Nevada Highway Patrol um, that was in escort at the Bundys, where they were still locked up, and they were transporting them back and forth between Henderson and Las Vegas, I walked up there and stepped in front of her car, and she kind of jumped out, freaked out a little bit, but I, I stood and uh, braced my legs apart and, and crossed my hands over and, and uh, clasped my uh, my right hand, left hand over my right wrist and stood there like I was standing at ease. And it, it was comical to look at uh, uh, her in judging, you know, that, that spot, immediate judgment of uh, threat or not and what I am or who I am and. I got my uh, laminated piece of paper dangling from my bag as my identifier and notice of intent. And uh, that's what I told her. She said, well, what are you, uh, what are you doing? And uh, then she had a series of questions for me. I told her I'd come to video the, the van. How do you know about this? Uh, well, everybody knows about it. Anybody going to break them out? I said, they'd fight to stay in there if anybody tried to break them out. But anyway, she told me to go across the street to the other corner to video. And I stopped before crossing the street and kind of stood there playing dumb a little bit. And she says, the other side. So I went ahead and complied. You know, I some of these guys, these auditors, uh, all up in your face on the cops. You know, um, it's uh, for me, that's not the approach to make. And so I, oh, I shot some cops down in, in El Paso. It's been a, a kind of deed. Shots oh, you know, cops. <laughs> it sounds so funny. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Filming cops. Uh huh. There's a good way to do it and a bad way to do oh, it. I'm sure there is. And luckily for me, I don't have to worry about it. Out of sight, out of mind, Bosco. Thought you knew. Anyway, you know what I want to do? Take your clothes off and run naked through the woods? That's yeah, what I want to do. After that. Uh, no, I want to control the flow, like the Koch brothers. You can't. But do I don't own oil wells and refineries, and I'm screwed here. Wait a minute. I've got all the knowledge, but I don't have the money. What am I going to do? <laughs> I, people are so crazy. That 7% that we you know scramble around it to get to, in this life, the one that we're living in. Oh, well, you guys want to know? It's it's fake. <laughs> it's it's fraudulent. We're being duped, and we're being duped by people pretending to be undupable people, untouchable by law. Oh yeah, you can't do nothing to the Jews. Oh, it's gonna get worse too. What's so what's we better do something while it's still not illegal to talk about something that's true because that's coming where you're at. <clears throat> Dragon's breath. 
I mean, look at the farce of this deep state crap. I mean, it's not bad enough that I look at state as ugh, period. I don't care if it's state light, state medium, state dark. It's all fucking state. A state's a state. But you guys out there in voter land, and, you know, political standard land and all that, what I see government is is a way to stop us from being individuals and independent. It's not about unity. It's about control. <laughs> and they've, they've got us bent over in positions that I sure am glad my mom and dad aren't here to witness this. <laughs> One of those kind of things. You know, anyway, I'm sure you got the point of that. In, now, if you disagree with me, Vincent, on my stand, I'd sure like to hear why. Well, you say all these words, yet example not, young grasshopper. What do you mean, example not? Well, what do you do? I mean, if you tell somebody that, they like, what? What are you even talking about? What do you do? What is That was so vague. Come on, be specific. I had to be vague. No. Come on. Don't control my flow. Control your own damn flow, Bosco. Hey. That's it. You, uh, you want you want a debate? I debate with you. Okay. It's fine with me, man. Watch what happens. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? You you can't fight an idiot. You know that? You know why you can't fight an idiot? Nobody wants to fight a naked idiot, especially. Oh hey man. Cartman taught me that on South Park. Whenever the kids are in trouble, just take somebody's clothes off and they'll completely change. Oh, the star in the eye isn't important. That kid's naked. <laughs> Distraction. It works like a charm on grown-ups in Watch what public. Yeah, How you like me now? They fall for the same shit over and over and over like it's new every time. And now there's even people at, that are uh, at BitChute and other you know, other places, other sites, there's so much shit out there now. But what they do is they actually take the time to research and find out where, who, what, when. And they get people that live or have experienced this particular spot to identify it. And is this really where they're saying it is? Yeah, I live there at so-and-so place. And that kind of detail into the research is really rare like you i think you do your research to that level of completeness there's no questions when you're finished you know what i'm gonna do friday no. that uh, i have so much stuff that's incomplete and i just keep calling up incomplete stuff mm. i'm gonna and spring times are coming uh, and so i'm gonna be spending less time you know because it just i just don't put a broadcast together for friday and it's so up to you. you that's what i mean I have my uh my original broadcast and what i really start should start with is the medical conspiracy show that i hosted for dr carpenter so that what what, my, what we have here is a verbal contract with real liberty media yeah yeah see, so uh i've got to bring in my uh in the meantime um my 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 series what matters worldwide so i got 60 i think about i think 66 episodes uh of that so i think that's what i'm gonna do re-air them because uh most of that is not anywhere in the archive so i can bring that back in to uh, real liberty media and still have time because like right now uh, i'm fixing to want to be outside already it's a party day out there things to do uh, that sort of thing. Right? No, that's what I oh, mean. Yeah. Is that you? That's what you say. Yeah. That explains what you mean by you hate writing because of the time it consumes to do it. That's oh, what that's I'm getting like, here. Because you'd rather be doing something else because you're a, a hedonist. Yeah. So it's time for you to look, grasshopper. It's time for you to become an ant. Get into the little thing and do your ant job and get it done. <laughs> it's all just I, a matter of how you look at it. I used underdog and uh, super chicken. I know. That was hysterical. I 
I've been I've been posting those for years because they're my childhood. Yeah, it's uh, I see. I didn't really f incorporate the the artunication into why you. <laughs> ah, you're getting it, eh? Yeah, subtle little things along the road make you think of this and that and the other. I take chicken to peacock though. Yeah, well, you know, is there any? Oh, I never liked it. <laughs> is there anything in life that uh, actually changes besides your mind? <laughs> Do the physical things all seem to stay the same, but the, the way that, the way uh, that, uh, but the way that I look at shit changes. The older you get, it depends. <laughs> well, okay, well I ain't got that old yet. Slow down uh, there, sport. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, so Vinny's playing the young guy card on the old guy radio program. <laughs> funny. Hey. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> hey. Hey. I changed from flashing Vinny to Vinny Vague. Yeah, well, I'll just whip your ass all over this boat. Oh, go, 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 go. Do, do I sound? That? How, yeah. do you, how would you? Popeye hey, was you... a badass, man. He ate that freaking can of spinach, and the next thing you know, he's pounding the shit out of whoever was nearest. Popeye the sailor, man. Done. Yeah. Wait a minute. Was that a cartoon? <laughs> that was a I, trivia I got it yeah do you know that I've since read bad reviews on uh, spinach and no. an overeating spinach can do damage to you that's people's opinions and I'm telling you I can find equal amounts of whatever you want to know I can find both the right and the wrong answer on the internet show it to you so, there must be extreme cases where people do overindulge. Now, I'm not sure if it's a, what is that, a cruciferous vegetable, but it, they, certain vegetables give you gas bad, get all, if you eat too much of it, you feel like you're going to explode, but you don't. <laughs> and then when you do, everything living for about five feet falls. <laughs> hey. They have thistles growing there in Denmark where you're at? Thistles. Oh, yeah. They got all kinds of thistly kind of plants. Listen, you but take and but you go collect the thistles when they're still in flower before right. they open. Right. And, uh, yep. Down there at the, the very base of it, there you peel all that fluff away and you peel it down. It's like an artichoke heart and they're so delicious. Ah. But you have to remember, I, I reside in rural Denmark with rural well, Danes. So is there not business growing along the roadside? They don't. No, nah, they don't do commerce like that. Oh, they're weeds, man. Weeds. I, I think. Oh, grow along the roads. I thought you said yeah. sell them along the road. Nah, no, those are people's homes. You just don't walk no. up in somebody's people's no. yard and start pulling shit. Well, the, the Danes do that, though. They walk down. I see them in the springtime across the street all the time, picking uh, cuttings off the woman's stuff. Hmm. I guess it's a traditional thing. So you're probably on to something. But that's what, what I mean is uh, these people all do this old stuff. You go to, like, I'm learning farm, it. And they got weeds growing and there's thistles. They would say, like, yeah, you crazy nut. Go pick all them thistles. <laughs> of course they Terrible. would. Right. Yep. Well, and do I not always say we've been taught everything we've been taught? We've been taught it wrong. It's just the opposite of what what we should do. We do, and what we shouldn't do. Why we're all over doing that? <laughs> Me too. I mean, yeah, I know. I've flown a plane or two in my day. You know, not it flown one. I've been in one. Fly, flied, flown, <laughs> flew. I <laughs> But eh, so my, so we got your uh, Hal is your role model. You want to grow up and be just like Hal, okay? Then now here's my concept that I want to finish this role model uh, thing with. Let me clarify that Hal is Hal, and no, what he does is not what I do. So I uh, I only learn in lesson uh, from him in how to. Uh, approach in life and live. 
That was the comment I, I made about administration that you just slapped around over. Paperwork, uh, that sort of thing. No, that, that ain't me. I don't want no paperwork, no letters. Some people do. See, not everybody's uh, like you, Vincent. That's the idea of the individual and not the group. Because, you know, we, we live in the illusion of choice. When you do have a choice, you don't even know you have a choice. You think you're, oh, I can't do that. I, 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 I. Well, don't. Uh, it's like earlier, Dread's gone. Oh, goody. Anyway, earlier he was on here talking about Starbucks and this pitiful girl that has a degree in some nonsense from some college. But unfortunately, there's no work, so she can only get this job. And da, 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 da. And then he's talking about, I sit there and read magazines. Well, I thought he was going in there and giving everybody grief. I think I've got no reason to live anymore, Vincent. It's over. I've seen it all now. <laughs> yeah, somebody told me that. <laughs> I helped him. I tied a rope. <laughs> that guy's such a great character, the Hansel character. Good. What would we do without him? We'd have nothing to joke about. We'd, we'd be stuck making fun of Frumpy for being Canadian. Oh, them crazy Canucks, eh? Oh, they say that. Whoa, look at the nice thing he says to you on the on the reallibertymedia.com chat. Well, we're just all a bundle of love tonight. <laughs> Today, <laughs> this afternoon, evening, morning, slash tomorrow. You never wonder about muskrat love. No, I never thought about it. Yeah. I just thought, they, of, no, that's a, roadkill. They wrote anyway, to finish my role model sentence it ends with something too it's, you never let me finish it the first time <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> but the whole thing is what is a role model and the end of that is you got what you deserve yeah. because somebody was using the word deserve today and I think the word deserve is just pointless who's judging that Oh, you deserve. Oh, here we fucking go. Let me get my circumcision out so I can stand out in this crowd and show you people who's really in charge. And that's that's how we're raised. This is better than that. Mine's better than yours. And in the long run, it's a bunch of crap. Know what I mean? Are you going to argue with me in a perfect world? Hmm? <laughs> uh, you're off writing. Probably doing some research or making a meme or some nonsense, Mr. Vincent. Oh, shit. I didn't know. Oops, I didn't uh, you muted and everything. You're getting very good at the radio. I, I'm not muted on the only. You're not? You're just being quiet. Wow. <laughs> Remember when we did that to Moose? She come on to dork table with us and you kept saying things she didn't get she wasn't quite in tune with your jokes and you pushed her off into a corner hiding from your your verbal assault <laughs> oh yeah sweetheart because he asked her do you know the difference between shit and shinola yes when you wipe on him when you wipe off <laughs> My wife was making a joke out of the joke. It just, But see, when you did it to Moose, she wasn't in tune with it. We were joking around. And having, she was thinking of something serious, and you weren't asking it. <laughs> it threw her off completely. So she just went, Boop. I like to do that. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's called the Kansas City Shuffle. Oh. They'll be looking that way. I don't you know. Going? Then me and you can have the conversation and not even talk to each other. <laughs> That's perfect, isn't it? It's, I it's as close to doing a dork table with Mary as I've ever been or probably ever be again. So, yeah, I take advantage. Because I've been huh. getting better with the, doing the uh, the solo project shit. You know, okay, if I'm alone, I can handle it. But sometimes it's just more fun to bring somebody on and, and give them shit through the program about the way they see things. But you got well, what I, you deserve uh, in a role model, Vince. Yeah, here you go. Deserve and entitled. This uh, exactly. is different. Yes. Yes. Entitled. I'll give an example. Yeah. 
make example to these uh, the difference here. Deserve to be worthy of merit. It says that's uh, that's from our dot d e f in uh, in the chat right here. You all listening away from the uh, Real Liberty Media chat channel over here, the IRC. You can see and I see. Come on over and uh, see what we say right here in the chatter at. So anyways, deserve to be worthy of. Have merit. Now, verses entitled uh, or entitled to give name or title to you probably look a little more closer at this entitled. But we have a idea of entitlement. Now, I went to Walmart here last week to take us the se- the, for the second time to return a heater that had a defective um, thermostat on it. <laughs> and they, they was like, they wanted to give me $5 credit. And I was like, what? Nah, uh-uh. No. I said, they said, well, they went on clearance. I said, I don't care. I paid full price for it. I said, look in you. I just brought yeah, this back a couple of weeks ago. Because that, that looks older than two weeks. I said, uh, well, it was last month, I, and, I, and I had come to say, you know, I, I feel like you're calling me a liar. And then they said, well, we don't know that they are defective. I said, plug it in. I said, sounds like you're calling me a liar again. And uh, anyways, I left out of the store with it and put it in the car. And I went back in. I, ah, no. Uh. I said, get me another manager. Get something to fill out. I said, y'all ain't giving me no bad heater. And uh, so anyways, the, the manager... He's all like, uh, uh, and then so go back there and there's no other heaters like that, but he gives me another and then it's a, a little buddy, um, Mr. Heater who runs off of one pound propane tank. Of course, one pound propane don't last very long, but he gave me two bottles for free along with the heater, which was $65. And I think I paid 40 or 30 or something there for the heater originally, but he about gave me something double because I wasn't going to accept that uh, you're going to screw me over. And now and t- he says, he says that, well, people just feel so entitled these days. And I said, yeah, I said that. And I said, in dawdling service, I said, that's the two biggest problems we got in this world. Uh, so I told him about, I felt like I've been called a liar and I wasn't taking no, uh, uh, just because you say so. You know, that's what the funny ranch is about. Yes. Talks out there and people showed up and says, no, we'll not be governed at gunpoint. Yeah, you, people are coming and they get a little position of power, right? Uh, a, a little manager, assistant manager at Walmart and then think that uh, I'll show these people, by golly, uh, get a little reign of authority, you know. But sometimes you got to say no. It's sometimes you got to say it right. And sometimes you might use some bad words and then realize probably shouldn't have used bad words because it never betters your cause. Well, you, right. that's, all, Start. that's all very, you know, stand up for yourself and, you know, American of you and all that kind of crap. But you know what it's not? What? It's, it's, not. it's not based on an honest system of commerce. And that is really the enemy. All this other shit, like you haven't broken down anything to take back in the first place. It's part of a plan. So, it's not by chance that you're there. It's by chance that you have the balls to go, hey, fix this. Because people don't have that kind of nut anymore. They go, oh, I don't want to argue. And they just eat shit and buy another one. Yeah, I believe well, the, uh, I just, I the social my term name. is planned obsolescence. Grumpy, I don't think you've ever heard me uh, on radio drinking. Not, uh, nope, not on a barrel. Uh oh, drinking. No, you never. Uh-oh. Ooh, they're having the disagreement on the Real Liberty Media dot com chat. <laughs> Come see, maybe there thought, will be blood. He thought <laughs> I had uh, something in my mouth earlier. I guess. <laughs> Whoa, why do wet hens get mad? I don't care. I don't got any wet hens around here to worry about. The itching. Cirque they says some- the answer to why do wet hens get mad is the itching. And I say, okay. <laughs> do you know why, you know why they used to dip hens? No. To uh, set their... Uh, um, 
<laughs> you don't uh, know either. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to go look that up to make sure, but it has oh. something to do with them laying eggs. I, I do told believe. you, I'm in a world full of morons, man, and this boat's sinking, and I'm the only one that notices the water. Everybody else is telling me, hey, shut up. You're making a problem. Go away. Oh. And I'm telling you, there's problems here, people. Start paying attention. <laughs> Vinny, if Vinny's making any kind of sense to you tonight, <laughs> not in general, but just tonight, specifically in the last two minutes. Here it is. This comes from uh, Urban. Now he's talking to Frumpy48 on the RLM chat, not to us. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here, here comes from uh, world. Oh, Urban boy. Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. Top definition, Matt is a wet hen. In the old South, after a hen laid an egg, she would want to sit on them until they hatched. Even if you gathered up all the egg, she would still sit on the empty nest. So in order to break her and to get her to lay more eggs, because we like eggs down here on the South Shore now, the farmer would lift her off the nest and dunk her in water. She didn't go right back to her nest. Oh, she didn't go right back to her nest. So this had to be done two or three times. After which, she'd be mad as hell and start fussing and scramble about, apparently. This broke her, and she'd start laying eggs again. Well, of all things, now you know why uh, it's said that uh, might her in a wet hen. You sound like Foghorn Leghorn giving advice Thanks. to that little... I'm going to get me a chicken. I'm a chicken hawk. I'm going to go get me a chicken. What is barrel? What is barrel work? What is uh, barrel work? I don't know. Why are we talking about something you don't know anything about? That's dangerous ground, because, Will Robinson. Hello, Danger, Will that. Robinson. Danger. Hello, sir. Hello. hello. <laughs> so, uh, R.E. Walmart here. I still don't get it. I don't know. He's asking you. You're talking and he's typing. There's your first indication of truth. Oh, well, I, I thought he was asking a question. And no. Why would he ask you a question? You've because I listened. said I was marrying a wet hen and I didn't know I said it. Because that's just something I say. That's an idiom down here in the south. You know? Oh, down there in the south. Okay. And hello yeah. to... Uh, We've got a new person, Stilamo. Have you heard of him or her? Salamo. Like oh. Del Amo. I don't know. Sell, that, that sell ammo. I, I mean, have fun with words. I thought you were a wordsmith. All and, I said Salamo, like this, syllable. This is what I mean by it. it doesn't matter who types what. It matters who you know. <laughs> That's the difference in uh, the electronic think... world. And we're so split up so small that what we need what we know and what other people need to know aren't going to ever kill they're never going to meet they're going to be Dude. living in the dark forever you're my sunshine oh beautiful oh you know so i musical artunication you know the warm-up show <laughs> <Now> you, <laughs> yeah that was kind of interesting there's a, usually a theme to them if you noticed there took that there's a theme no, I try to get high for your radio so I don't have to really keep notes and take scores. That's why I do the radio. All right. Well, listen, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you today. Uh-oh. I'm going to do notes. I've got a copy a few things, and I'll put it together. For the show. But I, I don't make me the author, Graham. Leave it. Flash is <laughs> off. Because um, in a perfect world, it does. Uh, does not go with my radio writing series that is uh, particular, right? Uh, because of the F bomb. So that has oh, to be this, a. Separate. This is a break yeah. from all that serious stuff you do. Yeah. No, but we people might hit a topic or something. But some yeah. people don't want to hear the the F bomb. That is my. That's uh, not my problem. Well, yeah, I mean, because you don't uh, make it your problem. But I'd have to become political. I if I'm going to change like that, I might as well get a red hat and start praising Trump, too. Well, I don't want you That's to do that. seeking from other people to comply with them, to get them to do... Fuck that. They don't want to hear it. That's what the off switch is for. Go away, oh, there's plenty of life, oh, out there, oh. <laughs> That's why I said this, uh, this here has to be completely yeah. separate and not yeah. incorporated. I can't be author Absolutely. of this, but I will send the notes. 
but I can't be author because this will put it over into my uh, uh, reallibertymedia.com forward slash author forward slash vine. Yeah, that, okay. uh, that, you know, that, that's the link that I share for. Did you uh, just call me a terrible name? <laughs> probably. I'm a probably. potty mouth. I see bad words on the radio. I, I would meant, I meant to. You know what I feel the most ignorant thing we have in society is I truly could. word censorship is the most yeah, ignorant but, fucking concept. No. Who in the who in his monkey thought of this? Hey, you know what? We'll 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 change it. We'll make it nicer. Hey, we can do that. that. We can tell them what we want. In nineteen ninety six, when I was on the run on the lamb of uh. uh the life on the run, yeah. I went out to California. Went to California out there, and I heard what they called shock DJs and talking, and my jaw dropped. I said, well, if they in the South, they'd been in there shutting that radio station down and putting them guys in jail. And, of course, it wasn't long. It carried across the country, you know, starts in California and goes on over to New York, meets in the middle, and that's what you get. Consensus, kind of like uh, homogenated. Yeah, that's I mean, what you get. Th well, you be a sense of decency, right? So what? Uh, decency there. You don't walk around with your uh, nutsack hanging out in, in Walmart. Wait, so you're comparing me doing a little radio podcast and saying a few oh, off-color words to walking around showing strangers my nuts? Yes. They're, it's they're, not the same thing. Vinny, get back on Earth. Come on. Back listen, Earth to Vinny. Earth to Vinny. Wait, Come in. Right. I'm trying to tell you, this is where the change came about. There is what was called the, you know, a code or sense of decency and stuff that, you know, some things you didn't do. You didn't go calling a woman. Uh, uh, guess I go ahead and say it. You don't go around calling a woman a cunt. You know, it's things I, like that. Well, wait a minute. Wait. I call men and women. I don't. Wait a minute. I'm telling you, the world is different. It used oh, to be. the world is different. Well, yes. No, it, it's not, it's Vince. No. Where well, people. It's okay to say fucking right. goddamn. Right. That's but see, you're talking about a whole world, and you're talking about one language within that whole world, and you're talking about not even the most popularly spoken language. It's number four on the scale of languages spoken. That sucks. I think and English, English does not get as much time out there as you've been taught. Jeez. Well, I it's out there, but it's not as big as you think it is. Well, I was explaining. I, I was in guess. Mexico, and when I was in Mexico, you know what I didn't hear? English. Mex <laughs> and now I'm in Denmark, and you know what I don't hear in the Denmark? I don't hear it the English unless I ask for it. <laughs> See? Yeah, that's. In but, I've been in Mexico, and people speaking in English to me, and... Uh, and of course, I would go where people don't speak it to English so much, and I would speak it to some Spanish song. Well, that's why I wanted to send you to Venezuela to sort out all this crap going on down there. I got a person down there. Well, the Real Liberty Media has an honest reporter, and the only thing holding you back globally is you don't have the damn ownership document required by state to <clears throat> allow you to be what you want to be. <laughs> See how yeah, that game I, is played? I, I wouldn't really want to go down there. On it. I'm I'm good. <sighs> Have you the ever? World, okay. See, that's what I, the world is a different place. There's a different sense of decency now. If I was married, I'd now, I don't know the, for certain, but <laughs> I know 20, 30 years ago, had I gone down into Mexico, yeah. I'd have been right at home. But the, the world's a different place now. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it is. Uh, it wouldn't be the same freedom no. that I would had then that I might try to find now. Yeah, and, was there in 91, I think. Into yeah. this landed turmoil, yeah. it'd be particularly probably be targeted because I was gringo. Then, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, maybe not I, targeted, but noticeable. Sorry. You wouldn't blend in. Hmm. You know, and I've got that problem no matter where I go. I don't blend in because of the hair and the clothes. So I stick out a little bit. So the lead investigator for Van Buren County, Wesley Potts, uh, knowing him a friend of mine, uh, he sees me down there. What are you doing with that cop haircut? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Shaved your head. Well, I guess it's easier to take care of if you don't have any. Yeah. You can't lose what you don't have. So, you know, you're a good hitchhiker. You do carry your towel, right? Yeah, you know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You don't need scissors and you don't need shampoo, but it sure looks good if you have a towel. Then and a hat. Look, yeah, you look like you're prepared for just about anything if you have a towel. But if you were, like, holding a bottle of shampoo, you'd look like a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> Go with the towel. <laughs> Nine out of ten hitchhikers recommend, recommend the towel over the shampoo. So, uh, sell ammo, uh, ammo. I think they're listening to the radio. I see that. I don't know how to say the name either, but I can I'm going to what you said. Sell ammo. Yeah, I can't even say it. Uh, you what, said it. Sell see, ammo. Yeah, but you're talking about words, and you're talking about it from one place on the planet, but you're talking about it like everybody gets it and everybody doesn't agree with this principle that you're standing on now uh, society's performed its little performance and we believe this but you show me a president that doesn't say shit piss funk cocksucker motherfucker and tits and i'll i'll go oh man i'll go clean his house i'm pretty sure that uh nixon said him johnson said him yep uh Kennedy said him. Yep. Eisenhower. Hmm, I wonder. He Truman did. was on tape saying, nigger, please. These people were raised in a different world than the one we're in today. And the one we were in then was better than the one we're in now because they took all the freedom out of it. You have to have permission to do everything. You can't. What What can you do? You, you, need, a, you need a sign on a door to know which bathroom to go into and now they're making co that complicated i mean society failed you guys should just get this it's not difficult it's too big it needs to be broken down and it's, when a company gets so big in the business world that it can't produce a profit because it just doesn't work anymore they break them down and sell them off in smaller pieces try to salvage it this thing that we're in it's so massive and it just wants to get massive or instead of smaller or, or, or so we're kind of stuck you know and we got these little radio things and we have a little fun with the ideas but we'll never see a change because the population believes the stories and will not look at the truth they're afraid of it and now the government is going to make the truth against the law to question so we're in for a ride in the next 20 years people if we live in that long Yep. You know, if, if, if. No, not if. I'm talking about the shit that I see the way I see it, Vinny. You, you live in the world you live in. I live in the world I live in. And the controls that I see, the laws trying to perform like a magic trick through the same old bullshit they've always done is they tell you this, but they do something different. And if the population doesn't get their damn hooks on that soon... There's nothing to, there isn't going to be any way to resist it. These fuckers want control of everything. And it's getting worse and worse by the day behind the scenes of other shit they show us. Venezuela and oil pipelines is nothing compared to what the Jews got in store for us. And it has the approval of the United States federal government. They're the ones promoting this crap. And it's religious nonsense. And they call it law. It's bad. Bad, 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 bad. I don't know what else to say beside I don't want no part of that. I hope I don't get hit with it. What about you, Vinny? You want a big face full of Jew in your face tomorrow? There's there. Well, you don't seem to be taking my theory very seriously. Am I, th well, am I wearing my conspiracy I, theory hat again? Well, I'll, I'll put it like this, because it's name. It's, uh, 
they'll change their name and hide so and and hide the the evil hide this is the, the esotericness of it they hide amongst good men they surround themselves with good people and good ideas and work with inside to, to destroy the very idea that uh, they propose to represent so well Paul, out is not going to get to where you need to be in other words yeah, but we're never going to be taken seriously by the population because we are conspiracy theory wackadoodles. This is what people are taught. I've well, seen it with my own eyes. These things are... Hans accuses me of it all the time. Whenever I say something he doesn't like, his first thing is, Oh, you're lying. You're making up news. I am making up anything. The shit I make up, I make up on the radio. If I'm going to make anything up, it's going to be here, not in typing. That that crap on the internet is just entertainment between, you know, movies or puzzles. Cirque. <laughs> Sometimes Circle is not here. And I must entertain my own mind. Now, I don't think that uh, chat room is not a bad place. I think that kind of serves the purpose of that. Because it's a constant reminder of whatever side or not side of this coin you want to claim. The coin is there. It really is. That's the part the group illusion will not let go of. They're going to keep it there. They want it there. They're begging for it to be there. And because of that, the people that do it do whatever they please. And it's getting out of hand. And the more uh, I say that, the less people agree with me. I want to include this link in, uh, with this uh, today. So I'll just touch on it briefly. Also from uh, from the trenches because the one, the other one was about the uh, uh, Judge Darby. So this relates. is an open letter to the FBI, uh, to the FBI agent that murdered Lavoy Finnicum. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent letter. And I won't uh, include the entirety of it. There's a video here. And... And I'm going to put that in the uh, the R log. Well, anyway, you got kind of posy there. Whoa, Mister Typing and Editing and doing all that technical stuff. I was on a deep rant once again about my I, philosophical point of view, looking at the world and the shithole that it's turning into right before my very eyes. All four of them. By the way, I don't know. Are you disagreeing with uh, shit is we've been here in the end of the world and all this crap and nukes and bombs and wars. But what nobody's been paying attention to laws. And then if you think back before 9-11, there used to be a thing that you thought you could use called the Constitution. Well, that's all gone. Now, what do you got? Now you've got nothing and the Jews are in there freaking trying to make it worse and people don't know it. It's all being done behind the fucking closed doors to protect 7 million fucking con men. Oh, boy. You know, and instead of joining the group and becoming one of the con men, I decided to be against them. Fuck it. Take my chances. I can't support something that's going to be that bad for people if they should do it. So... No, I'm against it. And that's my contribution. People go, well, what do you do? Well, what I do is I don't do that. There's lots of things that I don't do every day that I'm sure that deep in the back of my freaking mind, if I drank enough, I'd try to do them just to see if they could be done and gotten away with. But no, I don't drink that much anymore. <laughs> I grew out of that a few years ago. <laughs> But it was fun trying. Ah, oh, Vinny, you remember those good old days? Hey, I could do that. No, you can't. After six beers, there's probably not much people can't do in their mind. But physically, <laughs> it doesn't work so good when when the impairment hits your hand-eye coordination. <laughs> it's like a slow, it's like being poisoned alcohol. That's what I call it. That's why I smoke. I would say if there was 
a reason to smoke, it would be to not have to be drinking. <laughs> to get a little buzz, feel good, and, and enjoy my day. But too much alcohol doesn't let me have fun anymore. So i got to figure out where my balance point is and then stop. Go, oh, had enough of that. And I don't see that the modern day mind has got that kind of focus to stop when something they're doing is bad for them. Maybe it's off. Maybe it's just the way I see this mess. Maybe it's just your input into it. <laughs> I didn't judge the whole world by the by Vinny. Vinny is the representative of the free world. And then my wife and Grimner and Frumpy and Slamo is that Slamo <laughs> and <laughs> others are chitter chatter in a way while I stall until Vinny gets back from his smoke run. So, no, I've not left. I've been here. Uh -oh. I've, I was I'm, just ranting I'm, on. I thought you was gone, son. Yeah. You scared me. I thought I was all alone in these sailing by myself again. <laughs> I've been reading the chat too in Cirque's home, so my little quiet life has been thrown inside out, upside down, and Nothing happens. It's all, see, it's all in my head, you know. Cirque's home. My energy level changes a little bit. My mood changes a little bit. The dog changes a lot. <laughs> She's not as good as concealing as a, you know, human is. <sighs> Speaking of human, how do you like being called an animal? Uh, rough. I think it's rough, 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 I tell you. Well, Right, but that's what the definition of human is, monster. It's kind of pathetic how we've been trained to use these freaking words and the true definition was hidden. And then when we find out what it means, you're so stuck using that freaking word, you can't even find a way to replace it. What are you going to say? Mankind. Uh-oh, now you've left out the women. But you didn't, but of course, they think so because you didn't say the women instead of mankind <laughs> it's all fucked up and i blame you for all this confusion i think You're that uh, yeah and i think as punishment i think that you should have to straighten out this mess you got 24 hours fix it i am oh uh oh what I do? are we there Oops. yet <laughs> i don't i don't have a problem with um daily life or the governments or any of that crap what I have a problem with is the people that support this crap don't they don't see the beauty in not not being bound to it it's really cool and other people they can't live in that world but we can coexist but we can't it's not all one way how do you explain that to other people life isn't one way Life is, to me, you know, it takes, uh, like, steps or levels to get to from point A to point B. And you don't get there just thinking about it. You have to actually do things so that you can make your journey a reality. And some people just talk and some people just go do it. You know, I got this radio crap going on. So I get to document all the crap that I remember out of my whole life journey to get where I'm at now. And who knows what I might say that could possibly help somebody else or lead them to an answer they're looking for. Like your thing with Hal Anthony, he's great with the law. Uh, Larry Woods, get great with electricity. And then there's guys on the Real Liberty Media that if you got computer problems and you don't know what to do and they're around... They know what to do. Now, I call that networking. Other people, they got different names for it. But I think, you know, your gift might not be my gift. So rather than go out and try to be as good as Krimner is on a computer, when I have a problem, I just wait in line until grim has got some time to help me with my problem. And he's usually around and available because I live in the off times of the day when there's nobody really around people are busy working and doing stuff but 
you know, the evening time is a little bit busier. Like, well, my evening time is what I'm talking about, your afternoon. It's nice and quiet on the on the Real Liberty Media right now. Not a lot of drama. Like, Grim had plenty of time to help you with your uh, your error for your quote. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. he could be a prick and go, you know what, I'm baking the shit and uh, I don't have time for you. Put you off and be a... Yens is not a good thing for to bother Grimner. Right? He's got other stuff to go on. Well, right. What, but what I mean, if it's quick and something, he's usually the guy to go to for help. Yeah. Well, you, you're worse than me. You need a lot more help. Oh, I almost misspelled your name, buddy. Ah, that's all right, because that's what you do. So you're doing the notes tonight? Yeah, if you want to add uh, anything, this is what I got in a perfect world role models, and then I give the Jordan Page, uh, Jordan Page quote, and then I go, uh, I included you in this. So, if mad is a wet hen, boat harder, the boat is leaking. Hope larder, the boat is bleeding. Go harder, the show is squeaking. So, from Flash, somebody in the paraphrase, plagiarist. Ah. And some yeah. of the links we wow. talked about there, I included four links here in the YouTube, and uh, so in case, in case you, uh, if you wanted to add anything, no, no, uh, no, I don't want to add anything. I'm just asking you: Are you doing the notes? Yes or no? And then you, you tell done, me the story. Oh, I, all I right, got it all. No, no. Yeah. good. Then I, I don't have to send Grimner anything tonight. Nope. Nope. I just want hey, to be uh, sure. Grimner, I'm not you the author. Do. Flash somebody, the author. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm not too worried. Yeah, because he's concerned awesome. about the, the foul language on his thing. So I, I'm understanding. I'm not a maniac. I'm just not an ass kisser that's going to try to appease you with pretty words so that you listen to me tell you how fucked up the world is. What are Some you, nuts? Spoken in uh, other manner. My message to the world is it's not exactly our fault. We were lied to to get us where we are now. The answer is the answer is to get to the truth, whatever that is, and do that. What is the truth? And, and we get conned in, well, that doesn't have any specific meaning, and blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. It depends on how you damn decipher that word. If you looked at the truth as what's good for one is good for all, things change a lot. Because all this whole, all the problems we've got are all based on one guy being greedier than the next prick, or the next billion pricks, and he's got to have a billion of something. That's what's wrong with us. That is not the good in humankind or mankind or whatever we are. That's the absolute worst of it. And we're taught and pitted against each other and trained to be aggressive and go out there and kill and steal and take and earn and whatever fancy word you use for it uh, see in a perfect world an average person would understand they're not any better than the next guy period but we don't live in a perfect world we live in a world of borders and rules regulations and codes and statutes and stay within the lines and be here at five o'clock and that's what we know 59 fucking years old, I'm not doing that, period. Incoming, remember? Yeah, but I was making a stand for all the anarchist scum of all the world. They are my anarchist scum. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you think of that? I've gone to uh, sell Almo's uh, blog spot, My Mind in the World. Well, unfortunately, I have a little trouble ranting and reading at the same time and doing the other stuff I'm doing. I'm Got multitasking. Up. Hey, I manage. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send an addendum and include this uh, at the bottom of the list there, Grimner. Let go the mail. And, um, let me go to sent. Yeah, then we'll maybe Thursday night I'll... I'll do a, because I'm, I'm doing 20% off, and I have a theme for my 20% off show this time, and I wanted to continue with it, and while you're reading and writing and crap, you can give me a minute to brag and do whatever I'm doing, but I wrote a, uh, ah, I called it, 
the control games. And oddly enough, uh, with the next thing I want to do on the solo night would be more about... Whoops. Take over Hannah, for a second. Man. Get him, Hannah. Okay. Hey, Salamo. Uh, Amo. <laughs> I got you. Uh, I got you. Uh, yeah. So I sent that All right there. there My mind world. I ain't read it, but I will. And uh, we'll just add this for uh, extra for the listeners on last credits in uh, back February 6th of 2018. Uh, he says he uh, always known it. Money was uh, well, I don't know who said the quote, but that is a good quote. Salamo. There is no nobility in being superior to another. True nobility comes in being superior to your former self. That's what they call growth. Aye, aye, aye. See, and we're all taught all this other crap that in the end it's not half as important as you thought it was. But because that's what society does, this is what happens. So, hi. How do you escape society and still manage to be in it? I don't know. I don't think it can be done successfully very much or very often. or I don't know what to even call that. In a perfect world, we'd get along, Vince, is all I'm saying. Yeah. We'd call it a rose by any other name, I'm certain. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, but the weird part is for the most of it, you know, outside of a few typing words on a computer screen, I get along fine in, on Earth with my fellows in, you know, word and deed. Just every now and again, uh, the court jester in the sky sends me somebody to play with. And I've just never grown out of that, uh, that whatever it is that makes me behave like that. I'm still childish. <laughs> I'm a Toys R Us kid. I ain't never going to grow up. So there you go. And then I say fuck you to keep the kids out of the room. Because the kids got all the good toys. You got to get rid of them so you can play with some fun stuff. Like, what was that? That Mario Brothers? Something like that. That little cart game. Oh, it goes back 20 years or something. It's Mario. Yeah, but I got it for the kids. And as soon as the kids were gone, I was on that damn game playing it like a kid. See, that that era in my life, the 90s, that taught me I'm never going to grow up. I'm always going to be whatever this is. This is it. doesn't get better. It just gets different. <laughs> Depends on your, you know, it's like Cirque seems to be okay with whatever I am. Other people, they seem to be okay with it. I'm Miss Kate. Grimner, Frumpy, blah, 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 blah. This new character, Salamo, I don't know. People um, get along with me just fine. When uh, when I take the truth too far and, and don't restrain, you know, the whip, then things get a little stupid. Whoops. In life, you know, when you tell people the truth about shit, you really end up in worse trouble than you would have been if you kept your mouth shut the whole fucking time. Okay, Grimner, uh, I put an addendum for... Uh -oh, uh, not an addendum. Uh -oh. um, uh -oh. into the, and uh, thanks, Juana Taco. I've also uh, added to the title. I think it was very fitting. So oh, I was a little... Miss Kate this. threw in the uh, quote by Hemingway that you were looking for. It's on the reallibertymedia.com chat. Uh, I didn't because, that Yeah, one. I know, sure. because you're doing stuff, so I'm letting you know. Oh. Ah, noble becomes nobility. I would have spelled it wrong. Yeah, well, we're, English is a weird language. It's mm. kind of screwed me up trying to learn other languages because other languages are a lot simpler. They use less words to define things. And I've got one of those old American minds where I need 100 words to tell me, you know, the table's to your left. But I need a long greasy freaking story to go along with it or I didn't hear what you said or I didn't understand it and that's what I mean by you know we've been con they controlled the flow and they taught us to do what they wanted not for us to grow up and do what we wanted 
And here we are. And some people have managed to escape the mold and all that, the trappings, and get free of it mentally at some point. But actually collecting and doing something about it, that's not very likely. And I figured that out when I saw Levi Strauss selling hemp jeans. Hemp jeans from Levi Strauss. Who the fuck would ever thought of that? And, you know, they come out with it like it's brand new. Look at what weird. Ooh, ooh. But wait a minute. <laughs> see, and I see all the deceit and trickery involved in that scheme to get people from point A to point B. And all that right. shit in the middle just ooh, makes my nuts raw. Yeah, stuff that in your pipe and smoke it, tanto. Anyway, <laughs> Paco, Mr. Escuela, whoever you may be. Ah, who is Salamo? Is Salamo uh, a new face on the reallibertymedia.com? Stay tuned for next week's episode of In a Perfect World and see... The Return of Salamo. <laughs> what do you think of that, Vanny? Huh? 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 Mm. Oh, I think that's the show. You got t uh, 10 o'clock, right? Or uh, 8 o'clock. So, thanks yeah. for tuning in to reallibertymedia.com, folks. And uh, come on along next week next for week. another you know, Perfect Thanks, Vinny, world. for playing with the In a Perfect World podcast tonight. It's thanks, always thanks. more fun to do it with you than without you. But without you, I just go on deep rants and eh, interrupt myself. <laughs> do the lineup, you wacko. And come along tomorrow for a uh, blast off with Grammy Mary in the Rocket Chair. 6 p.m. Central Time. Thursday, we come back along. What time are you going to be here, Mr. Flasher? Ray, for, Thursday. Uh, uh, Thursday. I yes. Two o'clock. Is that correct? See, the problem is it's the time zone thing. It's uh, whatever 7 p.m. my time is, it should be 2 o'clock in the east coast of the U.S. That's what I had to figure, too. Yes, sir. But yes, sir. Oh, next, 2 o'clock yeah. Thursday afternoon, Eastern yeah. Time, for 20% off. Oh, yeah, hey, what a deal. Friday, I'll be back here for... Friday, I'll be back here for in a perfect world. It would no. be, but... You will be a ponder gander <laughs> at what the yeah, radio writing series at uh, noon o'clock central time. And Grammy's back again at 6 p.m. central time for blast off, baby. Yes. <laughs> 10 o'clock at central time. Again, we've got. Uh, we'll have the Freakers Ball, y'all, or uh, Balls to the Wall, depending on. I got your Freakers Ball right about. here. Huh? Back at uh, 11 o'clock Central Time, Saturday for the Dork Table. <laughs> Sundays, we've got, uh, well, we've got some blues playing and playing trivia. It's about a quarter to 11. Start. Yeah, right. Here, the Grimner's introduction for the day's blues radio. And at noon o'clock, out on the left, switching time zone, we've got Mr. Al Anthony from behind the woodshed. Giving you a notice of the news, the pathfinder that it be spoke about today. Thank you, Mr. Al Anthony. Monday, we're back here at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, that's the Eastern time for Grim Leftovers. And again, Tuesday, we're in a perfect world. And that's at uh, noon o'clock, my time. Central. Thanks for playing and uh, staying, Mr. Uh, Flash Somebody. You've got the uh, hashtag today. Absolutely. And I'm not the author of this. No, nope, I, I am. Uh, I, I take all the responsibility because I say dirty words. Bad. Dirty, dirty boy. Bad, bad dirty words. Ooh. Okay, so that's it. See and you I'm guys. Really good at it. Roger Wilco over and 